Go Pro Yano! Hello everyone! Have you seen Kojak cry before? He cried after this game. It must be shocking for him because he never lost before against foreign players in major international competition final. Koje took eight international titles so far, but he never took LG Cup this title before. So I guess he really wanted to take it, but what happened to him? On the other hand, Shin Min Jun, today Koje's opponent, he never took international title before in his life. So today is his first challenge to take major international title, LG Cup. Shin Min Jun is Lee Sedol's student. And he was born in 1999, so two years younger than Koje. Shin Min Jun became a pro together with Shin Jin Seo, so we call them double Shin. Shin Min Jun became a pro in 2012. For now, Shin Min Jun is ranked in fourth position in Korean Baduk ranking. In this LG Cup final, Koje beat Shin Min Jun for first game. After that, Shin Min Jun beat Koje for second game. So this is a last game. Whoever wins this game, he will be a real winner. $270,000 for winner and only $90,000 for second place. Here we go. Koze is black and Shin Min Jun is white. Time limit is 3 hours for each player plus 40 seconds for Yomi 5 times. This game was played today, 4th of February 2021. Okay, so Shin Min Jun covered here after that pincer. Shin Min Jun, he, uh, he has really strong potential. He is very destructive. So like he can beat very strong players like Koje or Shin Jin Seo. You know, very strong players, sometimes he beat them. But also sometimes he lose against some players that are so much lower ranking than him. So he is destructive but little unstable. And Shin Min Jun's Baduk style is pretty aggressive and uh, he prefers very strong moves to compromising. And in first game, Koze took white and he won. And second game, Shin Min Jun was white. So this game, Shin Min Jun was white. So I guess Shin Min Jun felt good to take white. Okay, so Koze covered here and Shin Min Jun copycat. Copy, copy the same. The same shape, just a white pincered over here. So after covering Koje, play like that. So now you will see Shin Min Jun's style. Because now for normal soft player is usual move, just playing like that. But Shin Min Jun uh, plays something thicker and it feels stronger than just playing at A. Yeah, so you can feel his style from that move. After that, Koze made this enclosure. Shin Min Jun played after that push tier, so he really loved thickness. Now, Koze cannot answer like that because this is too slow. After that, Shin Min Jun will take a big place. So, Koze is saying that I'm not gonna answer here anyway. I'm not so weak, so I'm gonna attack you. You, these three stones, are weak, so I'm gonna attack you. And now, White can consider doing that thing, but if White do that, Koze can capture this one stone with leather. So I will show you the leather. And now White goes out, and after that, who dies? White died first. No. Shin Min Jun played an exchange because of this leather. Now Shin Min Jun attached here first, after that, did this. So now, if you look at it, because there is one white stone, now leather is good for white. White can go out. I will show you kindly why this leather is good for white, because after that, well, now tiger's mouth because of this exchange. So this is what Shin Min Jun's plan. 
So after that exchange, Y cuts here and Koja say, okay, I'm not gonna make leather. I will just give you this one stone. Okay, you just take it. I'm gonna have over here, which seems bigger. And Shimizu play this move. This move is like saving his energy and, you know, being very thick. After that, he's aiming to go in there. Yeah, so you can feel that Shin, Shin Minjun's style is pretty thick. Pretty thick, waiting for right time for using the thickness. So Koze trying to make a uh, little bit more over concentrated after that protected this side. So far, do you think who is better? It's very much even. Yeah, it's quite even. So here, Shimizu could go in directly, but he decided to take some points here. After that, slowly increasing white, increasing white's moyo, and indirectly going in here and breaking black's moyo. Then Koje ask how you're gonna answer. After that, Koje cannot cut here or cannot come out here anyway. They are gonna die. Just asking. After that, this shoulder hit. I don't want to give you so big moyo. And also at the same time, I want to expand my moyo. And here, Shin Min Jun says, really? Okay, I am not going to make some points like that because that's too happy for black. This is Kaja's dream. So Shin Min Jun says, I will invade your corner, Koze. You are Koze, but I can invade your corner and leave. This is very good vital point of this shape and very good invasion point. So it's very good to learn that invasion. So Koze blocked here, after that Hane here. Yeah, so when white Hane is here, it's impossible to kill this white if black blocks, make tiger's mouth, after that easily white can leave and took all the corners. So, in the case, well, there is no strong move for Koje to kill. So, Koje play here, and after attaching, Shimizu comes out here, and Koje just block, and after that, extend, after that, leave, like this. So, white is perfectly alive, and black has sent there, and little weak point is still there, over here, and over here. So now, I think wise living is successful. And if uh, somebody asks me which color you want to play as now, I think still, I think I will take white. Of course, now it's quite close, but white feels more, more easier to manage the game. AI says now white is ahead by one and a half points, which means now pretty close. Yeah, but as I told you, there are some weak points A and B, and white is thicker. So, you know, thickness, the more you play, the more you feel comfortable, actually. All right, so now, where is black's good point? Good point is here. This place is very good place for both players. But actually, they never played that thing. So where Koze played this, this move, uh, it's a little slack. Mm, it was a little slow because after that, Shin Min Jun could come here and Y feels comfortable. But, you know, as I told you, Shin Min Jun, you know, he likes to play something strong. So where he played, he just cut here. Shin Min Jun style. You know, Koze, you have a weak point there, so I'm gonna just cut. And Koze protected here. You know the funny thing is, professional players has their kind of habits that, for me also, I was wearing a yellow t-shirt and like I kept winning in sudden uh, competition last last year. So since I keep winning, I like that yellow shirt because I felt like, oh, that's, you know, very lucky shirt. The color was like mustard color. I was wearing that shirt every games in that competition. And Shin Min Jun was doing also the same thing. Shin Min Jun went to Taylor and he bought a white, very cool suit. 
like that. And he was kind of, okay, I'm ready for beating Kurt J. But he lost in first game. So he felt, okay, this is not my suit and it doesn't work. So I will wear just a shirt that when I was winning in Nongshim Cup. So that shirt is this shirt. So this shirt is lucky shirt for Shin Min Jun. So Shin Min Jun was wearing this shirt in second game of this LG Cup. So he won. So in third game, he was wearing this lucky shirt again. So let's see whether Shin Min Jun's lucky shirt is really lucky one or not. Let's continue. After this exchange, Shin Min Jun fly here. Compare when black plays here. Actually, the corner is pretty big. So Shin Min Jun took this corner after that connected. And Kaja blocked here. Shin Min Jun took the corner. And trying to make some big points here, but actually it's not so easy since white three stones are out like that. And then Shin Min Jun is starting something here, aiming for cutting and also aiming to attack this group. Because they just pushed and answered after the capture. So when white captures here, this black's group, if black tanuki, they are not alive. And also there is a weak point over here. So what to do for black? Hmm. Koze just cut here and after they make this tiger's mouth. That means I don't want to give you this one stone after white cuts here. So Koze is actually resisting with this tiger's mouth. And Shin Min Jun cut first and make some weak point. After that, go for attacking. This black's group, uh, life and death is not alive. But in order to be alive, black needs some sacrifice. So this is Sente and Extend. But Shin Min Jun, no way that you can leave. So attaches here. Now, life and death time. So maximum black can do is only Ko inside locally. But uh, Koje played here, which means if white dancers, everything is sent there and black can leave. You know, sacrifice a little bit and black can leave. That's uh, Koje's plan. And Shin Min Jun captured, and before he captured here, uh, he is creating um, some weak point over here. And now, if black save that thing, after that, white will connect. If black cuts, and yeah, these three stones are dead. So it doesn't work for black. So, black has to answer outside, and then black just left. All right, so capturing A and B is me I. So white doesn't have to care here anymore. So Shin Min Jun just blocked here and just jumped. Now, after this result, you see black lived here, but very small. And black has a weak point over here and white pushed here and tried to come out here. That means white is erasing all black's potential. So this result, definitely is happy for Shin Min Jun. So with this cutting part and this one, with these two cutting points, Shin Min Jun definitely get the initiative against Koje. Now, so Koje feels nervous, you know. I never lost against foreign players in major international title. So Koje is thinking how to turn the table and he is starting to resist by preparing something, okay, at asking how you answer. Shin Min Jun calmly just answered and Koje just attaches. After that, Shin Min Jun is just playing very thick. So saying that I don't want to give you any chance to follow me. Okay, after that, yeah, this is Sente and try to go back. And then, yeah, this is Sente. Sente, yeah. So, Shin Min Jun is choosing moves that are thick. Yeah, rather than just taking some points, but Shin Min Jun is trying to play thickly that minimize a risk for the game. And he did this exchange and 
try to make some points in center. Shimin-jun just attaches here. But if Koje answers here, it was too easy for white. So Koje played this thing. But Shimin-jun just answered and after that connected super thick. Super thick. So now there is a weak point over here. So black has to play. And then after this exchange, Shimin-jun came out. So if black just answer everything, black is gonna lose very easily. So Koze is trying something, but Shimin-jun don't care and try to, you know, keep coming in. Whew. So the gap is still the same. White is ahead by around five points, which is a lot. Like now almost finished. So it's impossible actually to, for Koze to catch up. Yeah, so Koze for last, he is trying something here, which is a call. Call, yeah. And white capture, where is black's call threat? Yeah, here, call threat and capture. Okay, this is call threat, white captures. Okay, Atari captures, captures. This is Sente, captures. This is Sente, captures. Where is white's call threat? Sorry here, captures. Okay, this one, white has to answer everything. And then, yeah, this is Sente. If black doesn't play, white plays, oops, white plays here and the whole black will die. So gotta answer. Okay, this is must answer. And uh, there are so many call threats. Yeah, it's very sad thing for Koje. Atari and connected, which is sent the capture again. Atari, yeah, that's call threat. Ah, there are so many call threats. Call threat factory. Okay, so let's see whose call threats are more. Capturing is sent the sent the capturing. Okay, black has to answer. Capture. Okay, just answer because white is call threat here and captured okay can answer yeah after the white capture and black atari here now if white connect there then there is no more call threat so shin min jun just took this call cause it captured and white captured that thing so who gains from this call actually cause made this call but still uh, black didn't gain anything because this core is pretty big. Uh, of course, this is big also. But yeah, still the gap is not reduced. So now white is ahead by around five points. So actually it's over. Less variations now on the board. Hmm. So they continued doing endgame, but Kaze lost by three and a half points. So Shin Jun took this LG Cup international title for the first time in his life and Koje during his interview he he cried poor thing this game Shin Min Jun never lost his initiative and once he got the initiative he never gave any chances to Koje so this is I think his life game for Shin Min Jun Shin Min Jun must be very happy today so today I share with you uh, LG Cup's winner and the final game. Many things to learn from Shin Min Jun for this game. Just perfect game. All right, that's all for today's big match review. I hope you enjoyed this review video and see you next time. Bye bye. Annyeong.